Hello folks, Bartuari here and welcome back to my Soma series and the plans for today were actually to go get some tribesmen but uh, when I logged on today my tribesmen were gone. So if I checked J key, tribe events, apparently both of them died due to thirst and I was pretty sure I put a uh, water jug on them so I'm not sure what happened here. I will have to keep an eye on that. Maybe uh, thirst is a little bit too high. But yeah, that definitely means I need to go find some new friends to uh, help me out in my uh, whole setup. So what I could do is probably head up here first. Go check out the camp. See if I can, uh, can get some uh, recruits. But uh, the annoying thing is also they had the nice gear already on them. So I don't really know what happened. But uh, yeah, anyway, I need to go to the camp and try to recruit some new friends. So let's do that. Uh, wait, do I have broth on me? I probably have a few, no, I don't have broth on me. So let's make some broth because you actually need the broth in order to um, to be able to uh, give them food. When they, actually you need to knock them down so they will be unconscious. And after that, you need to feed them some liquid food to bring them back. But I will show you how that's, that works in a, in a little bit. I just need to make sure that I have some food. I do have this on me, but that's the only food I have for now. Uh, so let's uh, walk up to the, the camp and I'm probably... Oh, I don't even have arrows on me. You see? Prepare for everything. Check if I have some arrows lying around somewhere in a weapons box. Do I have a weapon? Yes, I have a weapon. No, that's a toolbox. This is the weapon box. I do have some wooden arrows and some bone arrows. The bone arrows are better. So let's use those instead. Okay, let's head out. It's time to get some friends into a clan and try to make sure they do not die this time. So you can see I'm pretty close to the camp, which is great. If I press Q, I can... Ooh, he already noticed me. So let's check what it is. He is a... A master. Yeah, yeah, come closer. So you hit them until they are about 30%. And then you can deter them. Oh, got me nicely there. Okay, deter. You see, I've knocked him down, or her down. It's a... I think it's a male. So I can safely bring this guy back because my base isn't all too far. If my base was a little bit further away, I would actually make a little camp here. So I could uh, drop our friend off in a bed and not worry about hitting it. But my camp is just across the ridge. So now the idea is I will bring him inside. He will be closer to my campfire. And then I will feed him some broth. And that will make sure that his... Uh, Recognition, that's the word I was looking for. His recognition will be ga re gaining. So let me show you a few items. Uh, I didn't even pick up the broth I made, so let's pick that up. Okay, let's check this guy. A few items. And drop some broth in there. Use it once. There you go. And favorite this one, favorite this one. Maybe also favorite this one. So you see, if you look at it now, you see the top, uh, the bottom thing is recognition. It's now at 51 out of 1000. Once it reaches 500, I will be able to actually uh, recruit this person into the, uh, the clan. Let me sit down for a little while so I get the comfort bonus as well. And then I should be eating some meat as well before I go back. Okay, see, I have the buff now. And do the meat as well where well, the meat is on my hotbar isn't it no it isn't okay eat meat there the second buff and now i can try to go get uh, another friend and i will try to continue doing that but i need to be very careful because i will show you in a little bit so that guy is a novice warrior he's a weapon master but he's uh, low level so i don't really want him I will probably just kill it. If I can. Yeah, come closer, you fool. Oh, there 
there's a tree. Oh, a rock there. Okay, I got that one. That's nice. So what else do we have up there? We have a novice guard. And on this side, we have a skilled warrior. And a little bit further up, you see a guy with a flag. That's a dangerous thing. I need to try to kill that one before he actually reaches the uh, the campfire. If he reaches the campfire in time, then uh, he might be lighting the campfire, which will uh, send in reinforcements, long waves of reinforcements. And I don't really want that. I want him to be gone before he actually lights the fire. Come on, stand still, you fool. It's pretty impressive how, how they do that. do something. I could try to get this one too. I will need friends anyway, so I'm probably going to be taming a few of them and then uh, yeah, get rid of them if they are not worth keeping. That's probably what I will be doing. But first of all, I need some friends. I need people to uh, actually fuel my base to craft me some things. And for now, this is the only way I can do it. I might need to make actually a... Uh, What's it called? The uh, rain catcher? But I don't understand it. They are so close to the water, they, they should be able to drink from there. I only have one bed for now, so I will need to drop this one off right here. Give it some food. Okay. There you go. Take this back. And this one should already be halfway. See, 300. Oh, I have another bed. Well, okay, that's for the next one then. And I will be repeating that for a few times and try to explain you what you should be looking for in your thralls or your clans member. That's how they are called in this game. So let me press the Q again. Hide, Q. And if I press and hold Q now, you will see in the pop-up window things appear like Flint Tribe Barbarian. Next to that, there is an icon. It's a transparent gray one. Uh, next to that is a level 15. And under that, it says Novice Guard. And what you are looking for is actually skilled or even master. Master is the best uh, grade. And with regards to the icon, the icon is also something, but I have no, yeah, I don't really know what it influences, probably stats or something. So there is a gray icon, there's a green icon, there's a yellow icon, and there's a red icon. The rec red icons are the best ones. So if you can get the master with a red icon, it's a good start. So now I need to be careful because I don't really want them to light the fire. Of course, I did not want this. No. Oh, he will be coming. Okay, he heard me. Oh, crap. It's a tree. I do not want to to light them, to make them li light the campfire. I do not want that. So if I can get this one alone, I'd be very happy. Where is he? Spare guy, be careful. Do I want this one? Maybe. Oh, he's dead. Okay, too late, too late. So let's check what he has. Take everything. I might be using that at some point or even break it down into smaller components. Okay, let's go check the flag bearer. Now I need to be sure that uh, I destroy that uh, campfire here. You can see it. Destroy it really quick. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's destroyed, so they can't lit that again. I'm running out because probably this guy has seen me. Did he? What is he? Skilled hunter, okay. Okay, I got him, I got him, I got him. In here you will also find uh, things like chests and stuff. Wait, isn't there a chest somewhere up here? Oh, it's in the in the house, probably. In that house up there, there will be chests in here too. And apparently you can actually break those vases. And sometimes they contain loot as well. See? Nice. Some seeds. I might be needing some seeds soon. And if you check inside, there might be some boxes with loot as well. So that's how I will get my first types of food. And now I need to check which way I want to go. I think... Let's check, because there are also crafters, you see? This is a hunter, a green icon. Up there, a laborer, that might be interesting. A hunter, not worth it. See, this, this is a master hunter and the icon is red. So that's probably one you should be trying to get. This is a master icon, hunter and the icon is um, yellow. It's probably good as well. But I will need to kill some people in order to be able to get there. Can I actually shoot that guy? No. No. Let's make some noise. Maybe it, it will attract some people. It does give me some loot from time to time. Especially some seeds I have noticed. I didn't even know this. I figured this out by accident. By just hitting one. And there was a little drop here. So there is this guy. Can I shoot him from here? Yes. I should try to get that one, but if I shoot him, he might come down. How can he hit me? Okay, I think he's coming. Is he? Yeah, he is. Come closer. I might try to get you. Nice, nice parry. Got me pretty nicely there. Get, get him, get him. I got him, I got him. Is he any good? Let's check. Ah, yeah, he's the master yellow one. Let's pick him up, bring him back to the base and keep an eye on my health because uh, apparently... He hit me pretty badly there. A few items. Give it some broth. There you go. Uh, I think I might be adding meat on there first. Okay, let's check this one. This one should almost be ready. Yeah, this one is actually ready. This one is ready too. I could actually use those to come to help me. Let's first check how good they are. I, and then go to the proficiencies. He's good at logging, which might be interesting for us. To get some more wood. The rest, well, alchemy is not bad. Cooking is not all too bad. Nice blade skills. Nice hammer skills, pretty darn good dual blades. So I will try to give it a name. What am I doing actually? Wrong key. Rename. 
uh, lumberjack, let's call him like that, I don't know, but he has 113 uh, dual blades, I believe. Let's check. Yeah. Uh, wait. Okay, that's me. Our friend is level 16, 114 dual blades, so I need to give him some... Oh, he has dual blades, that's already nice. I can give him this one. This ring is better than the one he has, because this is only 34. This is a higher T one. So let's give him that. The armor flint tribe basic combat things. I think it's better 184 health versus 168, yes. And is there anything else I can give it? Mm, probably not. Let's uh, give it one of our water bottles. Let's give it some simple bandages. We should actually be uh, giving that to this guy for now. The lumberjack, let him do it. While I check the other guy. Wait, uh, you? Okay, he's doing it. Okay, let's check this guy now. Springing up. Go to our clan menu. It's this one. Let's check proficiencies. One was, ooh, 124 gauntlets. Heck yeah. Nice blades too. This is actually a very good one. This means that uh, 124 he will be able to get all four perks in the gloves category. So I will be using this one. I need to give him gloves. Maybe a hammer too. Gloves, blade, hammer. Nice one. Uh, let's give him a name. I think it's 124 blades. Uh, 124, 124 gloves, gauntlets it's called. Okay. So he's good at other things. Harvesting, okay. Alchemy, okay. Weapon crafting, okay. But okay, I mean, he has 191, uh, 91 possible levels, so he will get the first three perks, not the fourth. But yeah, I need to give him some armor and stuff. Well, he already has the armor. He has a hammer blade. Uh, I don't think I have anything else. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can have this. There. So you can have. No, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You can have this one instead. Okay. Do I have some more armor maybe as well? Well, there's these bone rings I have. And maybe these two. Let's check if this is better than what they have. The beast bone ring is probably better than this one. This is. 36 HP and 6 attack. This is double. Yes. And the necklace is 72 versus 12. And this is also 31. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's an upgrade. And you, my friend, can get the same thing from me. You have a necklace. And didn't I bring a ring? Yes, I brought a ring. But I should be checking if I have some real armor for it. Nope. Hmm. You know what? I might be taking you with me. Deploy. I can actually bring both with me. Deploy. Uh, you have no bandages, I believe. So let's give you some of mine bandages. You have no food. Let's go get some water as well for everyone. Okay, so now you will have water for sure. Do you have some food? You don't. I can actually split this in three. Uh, yes, you get this and then your friend or monk gets also some meat, some water. And I have water and I have meat. I have bandages, everyone has bandages, which is great. I have some more of the broth, so I can have another look in the camp to see if there is anything 
else I would like to get. Meanwhile, my two friends might be helping me to kill stuff and they will get uh, XP and also some proficiency levels in the weapons I are using, which is always interesting. And this will probably allow me to uh, push a little bit deeper into... Wait, what's happening? They respawned? Oh, okay. It's probably not good then. Attack it. Hey, get him. Okay, let's check. This one seems to be a good one. Leave him alone! No, 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 don't kill it! Wait, did I put you on aggressive? I did? No, they are on assist. Why are they killing me stuff? Okay, what are you? You are not bad. I will leave you like that. Let's check the boxes. Yeah, let's get everything I can. Oh crap, this one. No bueno. Well, there is no more campfire, so that's fine. And you, what are you? Novice card, I don't want you. Kick it! I might need to go up here to get the next one. No, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. I might need this one. Oh, I got the whole camp on me now, which is not good. Wait, wait, wait. What are you? I need you. Let's put you on the passive. Yes, move away, move away, move away. This is also a after, I believe. No, not like this. This. Wait, wait. Let me get it. Ah, crap. Put stuff away. Get it with the fists. Get it. Yes. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Yes. Weapons. Weapons out. Okay, kill it, kill it. Bad, 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 bad. Why are they not doing anything? Oh, crap. This is even worse. Okay, I need to get out. Need to get out. Run, run, run. Maybe they will teleport to me. Maybe I'll get lucky. Nope, they are all dead. Are they? No, no, they are not. Wait, leave them alone. He's walking back to base. Really? Who's shooting at me now? Oh, this guy. Don't heal. Okay, I need to go get the other one too. Come at me, my friend. Don't, don't, don't. Okay, you deploy. So what are you? Skilled porter, yes, that's nice. You? Laborer, master laborer, even better. Let's bring these two back to home, because uh, I do not want to get killed in here. And I definitely want my guys to come with me. I don't know what happened. Maybe I pressed the uh, alt f combination or something like that. But yeah. We survived. I didn't die. And we got some helpers. Which is good. I'm not uh, not complaining. So the laborers are actually the ones which should be good at uh, um, lumberjacking, mining, harvesting, collecting, things like that. 
So let's give him some food. Uh, where's my broth gone? Oh, here it is. Okay, let's go get the other one too. I want to get that uh, that porter too. There is also one thing I can show you uh, in a bit. Once I have the porter out in, in safety and I bring the third guy back. Wait, am I wrong, wrong direction? Yeah, this way. Uh, I will show you something because getting some of these crafters and porters out of the camps can unlock some special, special gear, specialized gear. Like, um, for example, there is a set of armor which gives bonuses for uh, crafters. And you can unlock that by taming some of these guys. Okay, anything else? I, I forgot, here, this one. No, I can't get this. Let's bring this one out. And then I believe I have one more lying around. Okay. So, I'm gonna be bringing those guys back to the base. And uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty good haul actually. We will check them, of course, once they are up. Now let me show you what I mean with that armor. Let's have a look at the, the technology tree. And up here somewhere there is... Is there maybe some already here too? Yeah, you see here, Flint Tribe Everyday's costume may be acquired by deterring a Flint Tribe porter. Flint Tribe... Uh, Fang Tribe porter. And what is this one? Uh, craftsman's as the rain at the rainforest flint tribe barrack. So we are now in the rainforest, I believe. This is the flint tribe. So maybe if I wake one of these up, they will give me that skill. It's it's pretty much random. I don't know when it happens or when it doesn't. Okay, let's wake up number one. Wait, I can only have three. Repair. It to enhance the mask connection and processing ability, enhancing the max number of entities connected to the mask and increasing the number of tribesmen. After a repair, max tribesmen of plus 10. Oh crap. So I need to go get some crystals, green crystals, in order to actually unlock this. Uh, let's uh, wake this guy up, check what he is or what he has to offer. So let's first check abilities. This is a master hunter. Oh yeah, this I didn't explain. So they have some perks. This one is a strange one. Terrifying hobbies. The taste is hard to talk about. Yet there is this little... He loves being covered in feces, which I don't understand. These are negative ones. No, every five levels they gain, they have a possibility to lose one of those negative ones. And every 10 levels, they have the possibility of gaining one of these green ones, positive ones. So this guy, what is he? 119 gauntlets 119 bow and blade is not bad actually so i might be keeping keeping him as my archer 119 bow i believe yeah so that's not bad i can equip him with a bow and, and then keep him but i think now i have a problem i cannot yeah i can't recruit these anymore three out of three yep so I need to go get some crystals. Luckily, there are some crystals up here in those runes. So if I can get fur out of there, I should be fine. Also allows uh, my little friend here who's joining me to get some experience as well. Maybe he can skill some of his... Uh... Yeah, get it. Hit it. Got it. Oh crap. I need my... Uh, my butcher knife on number 8. That's uh, how I'm used to it. You might be wondering why I prefix all my... Uh, all my clans member with uh, an M. Well, currently I'm playing on LOL, not this server, but you never know. Some people might be joining us on this server or our other server. Okay, let's check what's in the box. I hope I get four I have enough nice nine so if I go to my uh, little thing here I can now improve this one once okay perfect so if I have five more 
I can even get more thralls or clansmen. Okay, fine, perfect. Let's go check what the others have to offer and wrap up today's episode, I guess. We got a few people, so that's nice. We just need to check out what they are and if they are good at anything special. So Archer is... Is he dancing already? No, he's sitting down, which is good. So this friend here isn't awake yet. 495. This guy is up. Let's check what he is. He's this guy. He is... Was he... A laborer. So okay, he will be good. Oh, 120 logging. This is a nice one. Uh, well, these guys, I tend to give them these perks here because this oh, this is uh, for farming oh it might be good for farming too so i give him this one this reduces the durability cost when using two so that's actually pretty darn nice he, he's a pretty darn good laborer i like it let's check his perks and he likes cigars i don't have it yet he likes defecation too I'm not, not sure where they get that actually he doesn't like the snow which is no problem we are not in the snow yet quick bandaging okay that's nice too Slope Sorkin, okay, that's a, it's a pretty good one. So he will be my woodcutter. Chucky the woodcutter. Uh, wait, I can add 120 logging. Okay, you are welcome to the tribe or to the clan actually. You, my friend, you were a. Let's pick you up, go to the clan's menu, check what you were. Skilled warrior, that's not bad. Dislikes the snow, which is no problem because we're not heading into the snow. Takes composure and stays still for 12 seconds to gain attack of... This is nice. This is very nice. Check proficiencies. Meh. I mean, dual blade is good, but we already have a good dual blade guy. Great spot might be nice. But the rest is actually. Hmm. Hammer and Great Sword will be for this guy. Okay, let's check the last one. Should be up to. Yes. And you were a. I think a crafter, no? Oh, the porter. Okay. The porters are actually the ones which are good at all these things. So weaving is nice, potting is nice, leatherworking is very nice, 124, nice. So he's actually done good, yes, check uh, this. He likes tomatoes, okay, fine. Uh, logging, mining, planting and harvesting is bad, okay, that's no worries about that. He doesn't like a mediocre leader, well, that's uh, my job to be a good leader, slow with it. Injury worsening, okay, and he needs to stay at home then. And attack weakening. Uh, he might lose some of those if, if we level him up a bit. So he's actually our leather worker, I believe, yes. So you can get to work on this thing here, my friend. Uh, where is it? Yes, this one is then for lederhosen. Lumberjack shouldn't be doing that. Lederhosen should be doing that. Actually, yeah, lederhosen has 124, okay. Lederhosen should be doing this one. Lederhosen should be doing this one. And Lederhosen should also be doing this one. And then let's check the weaving because I think we had a pretty good weaver as well. Uh, weaving 117. Okay, it's also Lederhosen apparently. Sure. Then the cooking can go to uh, 76. Or Hammerdin is actually the best cook. Why not? Then let's check the woodworking. You can do that with a stone 110. Okay, it's also this guy. Let's give it to Chucky. And this one also to Chucky then. Let's appoint someone to this. Uh, armor crafting. Yeah, it's also Lederhosen for now until we find a better guy we don't have the weapon crafting box yet i think we need someone to take care of this bonfire so let's also pick chucky oh no wait lumberjack i have uh, 
Ah, you become rather useless then. Okay, let's rename the, the lumberjack. He's not really a lumberjack, he is more of an assassin. Let's call him Jack. Okay, so uh, we have a few new friends. I need to equip them with some... Uh, oh, he already has one, that's nice. You, do you already have water? No, you don't have water. Let's make sure you have some water. Um, you, do you have some water? You do not have some water. No. Give you some water there you go did i bring more water jugs no i will have to make some more water jugs and be sure that everybody gets some okay-ish armor and weapons okay but i will be doing that off camera i think this will be it for today's episode we have a couple of new friends and new clans new clans members we should be fine uh, we should be able to go back in there in that camp and maybe try to get some better ones at some point but I think maybe you should also start uh, expanding our base and having some more things which sustain ourselves like farmers and stuff like that so maybe next episode will be another go through the camp or I will do some farming up to you guys let me know what you want to see I might be doing some stuff off camera like getting them geared up and getting some stuff for them but if you want to see that in a video as well let me know in the comments below and uh, i will make sure to respond to them so this will be it for today i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave me a little comment a little like or even subscribe to the channel helps out quite a lot when growing a bit and until next time have fun and stay safe bye bye